So Phil, welcome to Lanx. Uh, good to see you here at Emirates Old Trafford. How pleased are you to join? Yeah, I'm over the moon to join. Um, obviously, this is a great place to play. Um, Emirates Old Trafford and it's a great squad and it's a club with a lot of history, so I'm really excited to be part of it. Just give us a little bit of an insight when you were kind of looking at moving on from Sussex. What was it that attracted you to come and play here? Obviously the ground, uh, it's one of the best grounds in the world. The squad that we've got, um, you know, it'd have to be one of the strongest squads in the country in terms of depth, um, you know, the sort of calibre of player we've got here. Um, so, you know, the possibility of winning trophies, um, you know, looks very likely. So that's something I want to be a part of. And you've already got a taste of playing here in the summer. Just how much are you looking forward to playing in front of the Lancashire members and supporters now? So Yeah, I've heard it's absolutely brilliant. The, uh, the support up here, everybody around the country knows how good it is. Um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to playing in front of them, especially in the Roses game. And someone like Liam Livingston, he's obviously the year he's had, it's been like everyone knows about it. How much are you looking forward to getting the chance to, to go out and bat with him, particularly in something like the Vitality Blast? Yeah, he's had a great 12 months. He's shown everybody how good he is and what a match winner he is. Um, and to see him do that on the international stage for England, um, you know, it's brilliant. So when he comes back, no doubt it'll be in some fine form and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing with him. And you're off to the Abu Dhabi T10 this weekend as well. You're also going to play with Livy out there. Kind of just tell us a little bit about what you're hoping to get out of your time over there. Yeah, well, from a, from a Lanx point of view, from a selfish point of view, it's, it'll be good to sort of spend a bit more, more time around Livy. Um, understand his game a bit better, understand my game, you know, work out how we're going to bat together, because obviously that's going to be crucial come the summer. So this is a big move for you. What, what are your goals for you? What do you want to achieve while you're here at Lanx? Over the next few years, I think trophies are a very real possibility here. Um, I've already mentioned how good the squad is, and I've already mentioned, you know, how good the ground is and the support, um, and I think trophies are just around the corner. And you're well documented, your form in white ball cricket. You obviously made your England ODI debut in the summer. But just tell us a little bit about red ball and, and what you want to achieve in that. Well, obviously, you know, red ball's the, the form of the game where it's most rewarding if you get runs or if you perform. Um, and, you know, test cricket's the aim for any cricketer, um, I believe. You know, some cricketers further on in their career go down the white ball route. Um, but I'm nowhere near ready to do that and I'm ready to give everything I can to become the best Red Bull cricketer I can. And have you had a chat with Chappie or anything about any preferences about where you bat in the order or is that kind of all still to, to be decided? Still to be decided, I think. Wherever I can do the best job for the team uh, is where I'll go. And just tell us a little bit, so in the, back in the summer when you played for the England against Pakistan, it kind of, it come about really last minute, didn't it? And with the COVID call-ups, what, what was that like to get that opportunity to go out there and play the full series? Yeah, it was awesome. I was on standby at the time. Um, so I was doing the old safe living protocol and, and doing the COVID test every few days. So I sort of had an idea that I might be going into the bubble. Um, I didn't know it'd be under those circumstances and I didn't know that we'd perform the way we did against you know, a team that proved themselves in the last few weeks to be one of the best in the world, so it was a great summer. And you played with Saki and Parky as well. What, what was it like to play with those two? And are you looking forward to carrying that on now at Emirates Old Trafford as well? Yeah, I enjoyed playing with those two. Saki's skill obviously speaks for itself, especially in white ball. And uh, who doesn't love Parky? You've moved up to the area recently in Manchester. How, how are you finding it? You're bedding in well? Yeah, I'm loving it. Um, obviously, my dad's from Manchester, you know, the whole side of the family's from Manchester. So sort of know it fairly well already uh, from being up here watching the football, all the rest of that. So, so loving it. It's a great place to live. And you've spent a little bit of time with a few of the lads that are here just doing a little bit of training. Kind of how, how have they welcomed you in so far into the group? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, you know, it's a very, very professional setup. It's been hard. Obviously, it always is when you come back after a little break. Um, but no, I think by the looks of it, everybody's in a really good place. Perfect. Cheers, man. Cheers.